Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. In today's Pick a Card reading, we will look into how your person honestly thinks and feels about you right now. Before we get started with today's reading, we want to take a moment to thank you for all of your support, your comments, and the super thanks you've sent in. We really appreciate it so very much. We've been doing private readings for over 30 years. And if you're interested in getting a private reading with us, there is a link in the description and pinned to the top comment on how to do that. This is a general reading for the collective, so not all of the reading will resonate with everyone watching today. So please just take what resonates with you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. For today's pick a card reading, we have three selections for you. Pile number one is the card with the pink and yellow crystal. Pile number two, is the card in the middle with the blue or turquoise crystal. Pile number three is the card on the right with the pink and blue crystal. Pause the video if you need to before making your selection, but it's best to go with your first impression as that is your intuition leading you. The timestamps are below so you can go directly to your reading. So let's begin your journey today. I will see you in your readings. Hi, pal number one. Welcome to your reading. Please remember this is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it will resonate with everyone watching today. So please just take in from this reading what resonates with you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. Today we're looking into how your person honestly thinks and feels about you. So we'll break this into two sections. On the top row, we'll look at their thoughts. And on the second row, we'll look at their feelings. That is the plan. For those of you who have been watching this channel, you know sometimes spirit does like to flip it, but we always figure it out. Before we go on though, I do want to mention this deck. This is our tarot deck. This is the prototype. We have to make some edits, so it's not for sale yet. However, a couple of things. If you have any ideas about what we should call this deck, we haven't named it yet. We thought it might be a good idea cool idea actually if you guys wanted to leave some suggestions in the comments about what we should call it and also pile number one people you are the first people on this entire planet to get a reading with this deck right so let's get right into your reading pile number one and see what pile one's person honestly thinks about them what is pile one's person thinking are you in their thoughts are you on their mind what is going on with Pile One's person? This is the Fool. What else for Pile One? How is the person honestly thinking about them? This is the Hangman. What else for Pile One? What is that person honestly thinking about them right now? For Pile One, this is the Sun. What else for pile number one? What is their person honestly thinking about them right now? And this is judgment. Okay, pile one people. Your person does have very positive thoughts of you. With this sun card being here, this is a card of fulfillment. It is one of the best cards in the deck except for the Nine of Cups, although people can argue whether it's the Sun or the Nine of Cups. The Sun is about fulfillment, it's about happiness, it's about being able to come together in terms of a connection and in terms of a relationship. You are their sunshine. I will not sing because my voice is scratchy today. I am kidding. But with this Fool card being here, so I do feel that for some of you, I do feel that your person recognizes or thinks that perhaps they've been a bit foolish in regard to their behaviors with you. Perhaps you're in a situation with your person where you're in a place of disconnect, there's no contact, no communication, you're apart from one another, you're separated, whatever the situation is, please just take what resonates and let the rest go. But this fool tells us that your person is thinking, if you are apart, about creating a fresh start, new beginning. It is about something from the past representing itself and coming back around. Now, for those of you who are with your person, you're dating or you're in a relationship with them, the Fool is also a card of taking the next step on the journey together. 
whatever those next steps are for you, whether it's becoming exclusive, establishing a relationship, moving in together, whatever your situation is, please apply that and let the rest go. Now, I also say that I do feel some of you are in no contact situations, separation situations, because we have the fool, but also because we have judgment. Judgment is about, again, something coming back from the past. Judgment is about renewal. It's about regeneration. It's about restoration. Actually, the real meaning of judgment in the Tarot esoterically is resurrection, which is why I'm using all these words that start with RE to describe this card. But I also feel that this card tells us that your person is judging themselves, perhaps, for their behavior in how they have been treating you, treating this connection, and how they have handled things with you in the past. And I say that as well because we do have this hangman card. The hangman is a card about things being stuck, no movement. They are in suspended animation, kind of like nothing's happening. So if you are in a situation with your person where you're dating and you want to know where the connection is going, things have been stuck between you because your person hasn't been taking any action. If you are in situations of no contact, it is a sense of things being stuck because there's been no contact, no communication. But these other cards, this sun card and the judgment and the fool does tell us that things are shifting and changing as well with this hangman because the hangman is about also being able to see things from a different perspective, being able to have clarity, see how that sun is shining the light of the universe onto the figure's head in this card, right? Gaining insight, gaining knowledge and understanding from the universe. Now the sun is also a part of renewal as well, especially if you've been through, if you're having difficulties with your person, if you've been arguing, you've been fighting, if you haven't really been getting along, because after the storm, the sun always comes out and shines on everything. It brings rebirth. It brings renewal. And for those of you who are apart from one another, it also brings reunion. Now, the sun and the judgment card as well also tells us that there is a very deep spiritual connection between you and your person. So this can be a place of validation for you for this pile selection. The sun can be about a soulmate card. The sun can be about a soulmate connection. Judgment is also a soulmate connection. It can also be a twin flame connection. These are both cards of deep spiritual connections between two people, two souls, divine counterpart connections, divine masculine, divine feminine. Please just take from these statements what resonates with you. You know what your situation is with your person. You know the kind of connection, the kind of relationship you have. You don't need that validation from me, but please just take what resonates there and let the rest go. But this also tells us with these cards, there's more to the story. The story between you and your person is not finished. It's not over for those of you who are having difficulties or you're in a breakup or if there's no contact, there's still more to come. Also with this hangman being here, not only will your person be seeing things from a different perspective, they will also, they also recognize and they think that they need to make more compromises with you. Perhaps they're aware that you often or always make compromises with them, but they haven't really been willing to make too many compromises with you. They're going to start doing that. Better communication, more compromising. Relationships are about three things. They're about commitment, compromise, and communication. Okay. And I feel that your person really thinks that this is what they need to do with this connection with you. Okay. This is a very positive situation for you and your person pile one people it's just your person has to get out of this place of the hangman at the moment where perhaps they are stuck where there is no movement and that will happen because again the sun comes out and shines on everything that has been dark or bleak or difficult so now we're going to move on to the feelings and see what 
your person honestly feels for you, pile number one, people. Let's see what pile one's persons, what are their true feelings? What are they honestly feeling for pile number one? What are their true feelings? How do they honestly feel for pile number one? This is the Knight of Cups. That is the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I know some of you like to validate your pile selection based on the astrology signs, although someone left me a very rude comment the other day that said no one cares, but I'm like, well, everyone seems to care because in the comments, that's what they always respond with. Oh, yes, this is me. This is my person. So let's see what else. So that's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for you or your person. What else for pile number one? What is their person's? What are their person's feelings right now? How do they honestly feel? This is the six of swords. What else for pile number one? How does their person honestly feel for pile number one? What are their honest feelings for pile one? This is the three of wands. Let's grab one more card for pile number one. How does pile one's person honestly feel about them right now? And this is the ten of cups. Okay. Pile number one, your person does have feelings of love. They think about love. They want to express their love. They want to express their feelings and their emotions with this Knight of Cups being here. The Knight of Cups is someone who's capable of expressing themselves, expressing their love, expressing their emotions, being emotionally vulnerable to you. And if they have not been that way, I do feel you will start seeing more of that from them, especially as they get some clarity and start seeing things from a different perspective and start being willing to make more compromises with you. The Knight of Cups is someone who wants to present themselves as a romantic partner, okay? So for those of you who are in situations of disconnect, you're not together with your person, you're broken up, you're in separation, there's no contact, your person is thinking about presenting themselves as a romantic partner. Again, someone from the past, someone from the past, coming back around. Now, the Six of Swords does tell us that your person is in a place of transition. Things are changing and shifting in their lives, okay? And they're going from and in your relationship. But this is also a card of travel, so perhaps your person feels, and this is as well, actually, so perhaps your person is thinking about the two of you taking a trip, taking a journey somewhere on the water, by the water, around the water, on a cruise, on a ship, by a boat, two boats in these cards here. And the Three of Wands is a card of travel, and the Six of Swords can also be a card of travel. So perhaps your person is thinking about the two of you taking a vacation, having some quality time together. Whether even, even if it's just a weekend getaway, a couple of nights away, just doing some good for those of you who are together with your person or dating them right now, I do feel like this is what your person is thinking about doing right now. But also the Six of Swords, for those of you who are separated, no contact situations, the Six of Swords is a card of communication. It's a card of technology. So virtual communication, so cell phone, direct message, not like a letter in the mail, although not many people do those anymore, although I think some do, but I do feel it's virtual communication. Now, this Three of Wands does tell us that things, for some of you, things are at a distance with you and your person, so perhaps it's long distance, perhaps you're distant with each other emotionally right now, but this also is telling us that your person does see that there is potential with you as a couple, okay? This is what they feel. This is what they're feeling. Now, this Ten of Cups, this is all about feelings. This Ten of Cups, these Ten Cups are full of love. The Ten of Cups is a card of hearth and home. It's a card of family coming together. It's a card of building a home together, planning a future together. But it's also so much emotion. There's so much feeling here from your person towards you. There is so much love, even though you may be at odds with one another, you're going through periods of difficulties, you're in separation, no contact situations. Remember I said in the very, when we looked at the second row, when we're talking about feelings, this is about your person 
presenting themselves as a romantic partner, being expressive of themselves, being expressive of their feelings, seeing things from a different perspective, willing to make compromises, willing to communicate. And this Ten of Cups as well is a card of commitment, okay? So remember I said relationships are about three things. They're about communication, compromise, and commitment. And that is all here in this spread between these two rows. Pile one people, okay? So now we'll grab some Oracle cards. And for pile number one, let's see what is on pile number one's mind, what's in their heart, how do they think, what do they feel for pile number one. Self-reflection. This is about self-reflection. Now, that as well is very much like the hangman because self-reflection is looking at yourself. So I do feel your person is looking at themselves and looking at the relationship. It's about going within to truly contemplate who you are and what you want. Okay, and I do feel, again, with this hangman, being able to see things from a different perspective, they're going to really see and understand what they need to do in terms of being a more viable romantic partner, more expressive of their feelings, and allowing themselves to be more vulnerable with you in terms of this connection. Now, this card as well, Pile One People, is a card for you. It's a message for you. Perhaps now is a time for you to have some self-reflection. Um, look within yourself. What is it that you want? What do you truly want from your life? Now, not necessarily in terms of your connection with this person. It can be about anything. Um, are you happy with where you are in your life? Are you happy with your job? Do you want something different? We're, this, this video is actually premiering on the 20th of December. We're coming up on the, the new year. Take some time. Look at yourself. Go within. This is a time for self-reflection for you to figure out if you are where you want to be in your life as well. Okay, so grab some more cards here for pile number one. How does their person honestly, what are they honestly thinking and feeling right now for pile number one? Trust. They know they trust you. They feel that they can trust you. They trust you with all things about them. And for those of you who are in periods of no contact or you're separated from your person or you're having problems and difficulties or you've been fighting with one another, sometimes it takes a while to rebuild that trust. So if you've had no contact from your person from a while or if you've been separated from this person for a while, the person that you're asking about today, it's really important that you allow them and encourage them to rebuild your trust, okay? Because you need to have trust in them. And that sets a strong foundation for your connection and for your relationship. So let's see what else we get for pile number one. What else for pile number one? How does... How do they honestly think? What are they feeling for pile one people? The crossing, initiation. So this is bridging the gap, see? Bridging the gap that's here between two people, but it is also about spiritual growth, spiritual awareness, spiritual awakening. It's an initiation, okay? So I do remember I said in the very beginning, I felt that there was a very strong spiritual connection here between you and your person. And I do feel with this initiation card being here, that's further validation of that. This crossing card is also about being ready to let go of what doesn't serve you and all the ways in which you've kept yourself from truly living. So again, I feel that this is about you. This is a message for you, Pile One people, as well as this self-reflection. Let go of what is no longer serving you, whatever that is in your life. And... For some of you, it may be to let go of this connection if it's no longer serving you, if it's not something that you can continue to hold on to or hold out for, especially if you are in no contact situations or in periods of prolonged separation from your person. This is about you recognizing through some self-reflection, some inner work, what needs to be let go of in your life. Perhaps it's a job, perhaps it's a different situation.
But this is truly a message for you, power people, okay? But I feel it's also, again, this comes back to this hangman and being able to see things differently. It's also about your person letting go of things that are no longer serving them, outmoded ways of thinking, ways of looking at the world, of being too rigid in terms of controlling their emotions and not being fully expressive of their love. This is about them shifting and changing. We have the Six of Swords. Remember, the Six of Swords is about transformation and change. So your person is shifting and changing into a much more openly loving person who's willing to communicate, who's willing to make compromises. And for some of you, who is willing to make a commitment to you and to this connection. So let's see what else we get here. Pal number one. For pal number one, what are their person's honest thoughts? And feelings, what are they thinking? What are they feeling for pile number one? Past life love, your soul remembers this intense connection. We talked about that in the beginning. I do feel that there's a spiritual component, divine counterpart connection here for many of you who selected this pile. Let's see what else for pile number one. What else for pile number one? Acceptance, everything happens for a reason. So for those of you who are in difficulties with your person or separation, no contact situations, everything does happen for a reason, okay? And this is more of a message for you, pile number one people, okay? It's hard, it's difficult when you're in no contact and you miss that person, okay? Or if you're fighting and arguing and things are in a state of disruption, there, these things are happening for a reason. Self-reflection to rebuild trust, to really be able to look and see what it is you want and what you don't want in your life, okay? Everything happens for a reason. Even periods of long, no contact situations. This person is changing and growing, they're shifting. They're becoming more spiritually aware, okay? They are seeing things from a different perspective. They're going to be more openly loving and expressing, expressive, excuse me, expressive. It's about change. It's about transformation. It's about the person changing and transforming to become someone who is ready to be able to have a long-term partnership. So what else for pile number one? What are their person honestly thinking and feeling right now? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. What else for pile number one? How is their person honestly Thinking and feeling, what do they think? What do they feel right now? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Now, that may not necessarily be engagement. Just take what resonates and let the rest go. It is about commitment. It is about moving the relationship to the next level, to the next stage, as we talked about in the very beginning of the reading when we talked about the fool. And it's really about, this card is really about taking the relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. And I find it very interesting that it dropped down on top of that 10 of cups, which is a card of longevity in relationships, a card of fulfillment, a card of a happy, harmonious relationship. This is your reading for today, pile number one. Thank you so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey today. And if you'd like to look at your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the top comment. Also, we'd like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. Please remember this is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it will resonate with everyone watching. Please just take in what resonates with you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. Today we're looking into how your person honestly thinks and feels about you. So we will break this reading into two sections. On the top row, we'll look at their thoughts. And on the second row, we will look at their feelings. And before we go on, I do want to mention this deck. This is our deck. We created this. It's not available for sale yet, but it will be very soon. We have to make a few edits to some of the images. We haven't named the deck yet, though. And if you have any suggestions for the title for this deck, 
please drop us a comment, let us know, and we'll gather up all those suggestions and we'll put a poll out in the community section. Okay, so let's get right into this reading. You are the second group of people on the planet to get a reading with this deck as well, pile, pile two. Obviously, pile number one was the first group, so let's get right into this reading for pile number two. How does their person honestly think? What does that person honestly think? For pile two, what do they honestly think? This is the magician. What else for pile two? What does that person honestly think right now? This is the empress. What else for pile two? What does that person honestly think right now? This is the Wheel of Fortune. We'll grab one more card for Pile 2. What are Pile 2's person's thoughts? What are they thinking for Pile 2 people? And this is the Lovers. All right. So, okay, Pile 2 people. Well, your person's definitely attracted to you. They definitely think that you are just beyond when it comes to the level of your attraction. They also do think that you're very nurturing, you're very supportive, you're very grounded, you're very giving, caring, very wise. They think that they can come to you with whatever they're dealing with, problems with work, problems with finances, problems with family, and that you would give them good advice, you would give them wise counsel. Okay. And we get that with this Empress card. And perhaps for some of you that selected this pile today, they do think that you would be a good mother. Please take what resonates and let the rest go. Perhaps they do think about the two of you having a family together, combining your families, whatever your situation is. But they also, with this Magician card, there's an awareness that you're someone who is very magical to them. You're enchanting. Okay. And I do feel that there is a recognition within them that this is a very powerful connection. With this magician card being here, this tells us that you connect not just physically through passion, etc., but you also collect, connect mentally. You connect emotionally and you connect spiritually. A very strong connection here with your person. And your person is thinking that. Now, with this lover's card being here, the lover's is Gemini. So if you or your person have sun, moon, or rising in Gemini, this can be a place of validation for you. Although someone left me a nasty comment on the comments the other day that no one's interested in that, but you all comment about what your signs are. So I'm going to continue to do that because I do feel it's helpful for you to validate your pile selection. Anyway, so with the lover's, the Lovers is a card of soulmates, okay? And so I do feel for some of you who selected this pile today, this is a soulmate connection, but because the Lovers is ruled by Gemini, which means the twins, I do feel for some of you as well, this could be a twin flame connection. Regardless of what the energy is in this connection between the two of you, it is a deep connection, connecting on all levels, not just the physical level, okay? <clears throat> I'm sorry, that is Morgana. I'm going to pause the video and I will be right back. <clears throat> Morgana is very old and she has dementia because she has advanced kidney disease. So, so she does make noises very loudly that downstairs of my house echoes because it's tile. I apologize for that. Now this wheel of fortune, this tells us that there's a very strong sense of fate and destiny in this connection with your person. And I do feel that for many of you who selected this, this pile selection today, pile number two people, I do feel that your person, when you first met, there was an awareness within them that this was something significant. This was something special, that this was some sort of <clears throat> turning point in their life in your life as well, pile two people? Did it feel that way? There's this recognition that something significant and special was happening to them. Now, for some 
people, that can be scary and it can be overwhelming. So if you are having difficulties with your person right now, if they're ghosting or if there's no contact or if you're in separation or if you're having problems in terms of like your relationship, fighting, arguing, if you're dating or in a relationship with them, that can also be some self-sabotage due to fear about the intensity of this connection that exists here between you and this person. Your person does think there is an intense connection. They are aware that this is something that is not superficial. They are aware that this is something deep, that this is something that comes with them having to grow and then them having to evolve. Well, both of you actually. Okay, pile two people. But this lover's card as well is about a decision. It's about having to decide. And I do feel that this is about your person thinking they need to decide about which direction they're going to take this connection between the two of you. However, like I said earlier, with that wheel of fortune being here, there's a strong sense of fate and destiny attached to this connection and attached to this relationship. There's more to come to your story. The wheel of the universe is in constant motion. It's constantly clicking and turning and clicking and turning and changing. So anything can change in the dynamic between you and your person, regardless of where your situation is with them right now. I also feel that your person considers that they, they were lucky when they met you. They, they considered it a stroke of luck, a gift from the universe, okay? So there is an awareness within them that you are someone special, magical, enchanting, strong connection, a deep attraction between the two of you, and lots of passion with this empress and the lovers being here. So let's move on to the next part of the reading pile two people, and let's see what their feelings are for pile number two. How does their person feel? What are their honest feelings for pile two right now? What are their honest feelings for pile number two? What are their person's honest feelings? This is the seven of cups. Let's see what else we get for pile number two. What are pile number two's person's honest feelings for them right now? This is the four of coins, the four of pentacles. What else for pile number two? How does their person honestly feel about them right now? This is temperance, that is Sagittarius energy. What else for pile two? How does their person honestly feel about them right now? And this is the four of wands. Okay, so again, back to this connection here between the two of you with this temperance card being here it really tells us about the strong connection again as we got with the lovers the magician the wheel of fortune but temperance is also about the blending of essences in medieval times they would this is a card of alchemy and in medieval times they would try to turn lead into gold through the blending of different essences and this is the essence of your souls this is fire this is ice that can be twin flame symbolism. Um, fire and ice is definitely twin flame symbolism, soulmate symbolism as well. And again, this is about the very strong connection that exists here between you and your person. Now with the seven of cups being here, this is the card of, again, having to make a decision, having to make a choice. But it's a card of love as well, with it being the seven of cups. But it tells us that you are on your person's mind. They think about you a lot. You're in their thoughts. They think about you during the day. They think about you at night. They dream about you. It's also a card of fantasy. So perhaps they are fantasizing um, about you as well. Yes, in that way, especially with that lovers and the empress being here. There's a lot of passion here in this connection. And I do feel that they think passionate thoughts about you. Now this four of coins, the four of pentacles, in a general reading, this is about someone who's trying to hold on to their money, someone who's sitting at the table and counting their money. Yes, it's my Ebenezer Scrooge card, but it's also someone who wants to hold on to you. So they do feel that they want to hold on to this connection and they want to hold on 
to you. Now, this Four of Wands, the Four of Wands is a card of celebration. It's a card of two people coming together to celebrate their union, whether that is announcing your engagement, announcing a marriage, the actual engagement or marriage itself, but it's also a card of reunion, coming back together. So if you're apart, no contact situations, this is a card that gives you the opportunity for reunion. And it's telling us that your person feels that there's a strong connection here. They want to hold on to you. You are in their thoughts. You are on their mind. They are dreaming about you and getting messages and signs and signals from the universe as well, especially with that wheel of fortune and temperance card being here. And they are wanting to create a reunion with you and get back together. For those of you who are dating or in a relationship with the person that you're asking about today, this card tells us that your person wants to take the connection further. They want to take the connection, the relationship to the next level, whatever that next level is for you in your specific situation. Okay. There is a lot of love here. There is a recognition that you make a good long-term partner for them. They want to hold on to you. They want to build a stable foundation for this connection and for this relationship. There is a lot of energy here between you and your person. Your person feels this. They are aware of it and they know it. Now we'll grab some Oracle cards and see for pile two, what does their person honestly think and feel? Assessing. This is about looking at the situation. This is about them really thinking things through, really trying to understand and get a sense of clarity for themselves. But this is also a message for you, pile two people, okay, about you assessing your current position, assessing what it is that you want in your life and make sure that you can really see clearly the path before you in terms of where you are with your job, your career, perhaps you're wanting to make some changes. Now is the time to do that. This video is airing on December 20th, which is really close to the new year. That's a really good time to set intentions and think about what you want to manifest for yourself in the new year, pile two people, okay? And Figure out what you want to do next. What do you want for the new year for yourself, Kyle? Two people besides this connection with your person. It's about empowering yourself and using the energy of that empress to really empower yourself and figure out what it is that might be missing in your life and what you want to manifest. With that magician card being the first card out in your reading, that is a very strong indicator that you're able to manifest right now. Okay, pile two people. Let's see what else we get for pile two. What else for pile number two? What are their persons? What do they honestly think and feel? Happiness. Bluebird spirit. Happiness. Do you feel that your person does recognize that you bring them happiness. They feel happy with you. They want happiness with you. This is also a card of celebration, very much like this four of wands. Interesting that it came out right next to it. So your person wants happiness. They want stability. They want to build and plan a future with you in terms of this connection moving forward. This is what I feel they're thinking about and this is what I feel they are feeling as well pile two people so let me grab another card here and see for pile two what is their person honestly thinking and feeling right now what do they think what's on their mind what is in their heart sacred well it says covenant and then sacred contract so this comes back to what we were talking about really in the very beginning. Remember I said, you still have to write your story together. Maybe I said that with the wheel of fortune came out. I don't remember. For those of you who are in difficult situations, this is telling us your story is not finished. There's still a blank page here. There's a blank chapter. 
on which to write the rest of your love story with this person. So regardless of where your current dynamic is with your person, this is saying there is a sacred contract between you and the person you're asking about today. This is a very deep spiritual connection, as I mentioned in the very beginning of this reading. When we have divine counterpart connections, whether it's a soulmate or a twin flame, we have a sacred contract with that person that we will learn certain life lessons, that we'll have experiences that are going to support our spiritual growth and spiritual evolution. Because honestly, it's not really about the relationship between the two of you, but it's about the personal growth that comes as a result of having this person in your life. Periods of separation when you're really deeply connected to someone are hard. It is the hardest, most difficult thing for many, many people to go through. And I know that many of you are going through those situations because I read it in your comments. Unfortunately, these are situations that also require patience. And I mentioned this the other day in a pick a card reading. Someone had, and I read it somewhere and it said, patience is unconditional love. That is very profound because patience is unconditional love, but unconditional love is also patience, right? So even though you may be frustrated that things aren't moving between the two of you, assess where you are with your life, okay? If things are feeling stuck, assess where they are within yourself, right? Okay, how two people? But there is this sacred contract between you and your person about having experiences apart, individual experiences, but then also having experiences together as a couple. Now, is your person aware that this is happening, Pile 2 people? Probably not. But there is a knowledge within them that there is something very significant and profound in this connection between the two of you, okay? What else for Pile 2? What does their person honestly think and feel? Right now, retreat, time alone or in nature will help you recharge. And perhaps your person is retreated away from you, as we've mentioned earlier throughout this reading. But also, this is a message for you, Pile 2 people. Spend some time in nature. Recharge your battery. Rejuvenate yourself, okay? Let's see, what else for pile number two? What are their person's honest thoughts, feelings for them right now? Here and now, your true love is already part of your life. And I feel you guys, pile two people, I feel that you already know that because that's why you're watching this reading. And I think that your person knows that as well. They are aware. So regardless of what your situation is, even if you're apart, you are still part of each other's lives, right? So let's see what else we get for pile number two. What else for pile two, please? Give your relationship a, chain, a chance. Work on your partnership. Give your relationship a chance. I think I need stronger glasses. Work on your partnership. So I do feel that your person feels that they need to put more effort and energy into your connection and into your relationship. And you will see that from them. Okay. If you're together dating in a relationship, or if you are apart from each other, you will see this energy coming from your person. What else for pile number two? What else for pile two? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Interesting that this dropped right on top of that four of wands. We were talking about that earlier. Now, I understand that not everybody wants to get engaged. Not everybody wants to get married. So please just take how this resonates with your situation. Okay, perhaps it's about moving in together, having a family, starting a family, taking the relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. However, I do feel with this sacred contract, with this covenant being here between you and the person you're asking about, I do feel that some of you will get to the place of long-term commitment, long-term partnership 
with your person, whether that's engagement, marriage, whatever that level is for your situation. So what does your person think about you, pile two people? Well, they think very highly of you. They think you're very attractive. They are, they think you're magical. They think that you are enchanting. They do recognize that there is a deep connection here between the two of you. And I forgot what that card was. Oh, the lovers, right. How could I forget that? They're in this place where they know that they need to make a decision about where they're going to take this connection. What is the next step for them? What is the next step for this connection? They are assessing that right now. They do want to hold on to you. Again, there is a, such a deep bond here between you and this person. You are on their mind quite a lot, pal two people. There is love here. And with this four of wands, it is about coming back together if you're apart from one another or the opportunity to take next steps in your connection with your person to take it to the next level. This is your reading for today, pile two. Thank you so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like to look at your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the top comment. Also, we'd like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone. Hi, pal number three. Welcome to your reading. Please remember this is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it will resonate with everyone watching today. So please just take in from this reading what resonates with you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. Today we are looking into how your person honestly thinks and feels about you. We will break this into two sections. On the top row, we will look at their thoughts. And then on the second row, we will look at their feelings. But before we get into your reading, we do want to mention this deck. This is our tarot deck. And it's not for sale yet. We have to make some changes to it. It will be for sale soon. But we haven't named it yet. So drop us a comment about what you think it should be called or could be called. And what we'll do is we're going to gather up some of the different names and then put them in a poll for the community page to see what we should name this card deck, okay, this tarot deck. So let's get right into your reading pile number three and see what your person, what does your person honestly think for pile three? What are their honest thoughts for pile number three? What is their person thinking right now? This is the seven of swords. What else for pile three? What does their person honestly think right now? This is the fool. What else for pile three? What does that person honestly think right now? This is the eight of wands. We'll grab one more for pile number three. What does that person honestly think? What are they thinking? What are their thoughts? And temperance. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. For those of you who like to validate your pile selection, with your astrology signs of you or your person, sun, moon, rising in Sagittarius. Okay, pile number three. Your person is thinking about, now some people can see the seven of swords as a negative card. However, it is also about plans, putting long range plans into place, plans and schemes being made, thinking about a long range plan. And I do feel for many of you that selected this pile, your person is thinking about what long range plans they want to make with you in regard to this connection. Okay. Now this fool card, I got to tell you guys, um, it seems like almost every single pick a card we do, and we do them every Wednesday and Saturday, it seems the fool comes up a lot, like almost every single reading. Not in, not in every pile, but every time we do a reading. So I do feel that the energy is, is very present about things shifting and changing for a lot of you coming up in regard to your connections, in regard to your relationships. But back to the reading, the fool tells us that your person wants to take the connection further. Your person wants to take the next steps on the journey. Okay. The fool is someone who's standing at a crossroads. It's the person that is the beginning of their spiritual journey, or it's the 
taking the next steps in your journey. Okay. And I do feel that that is what your person is thinking about. Now, for those of you who are apart from your person, for those of you in separation, no contact situations. Okay. The fool is also someone who wants to create a fresh start, new beginning. They want to take the relationship back to where it was in the beginning. And then for those of you that are dating or in a relationship with someone, this is about them wanting to take the relationship to the next level, the next stage of your journey together. Okay. So take what resonates from that. Let the rest go. You're all in different scenarios and different situations. You're all at different levels in terms of what your next steps would be. But this again comes back to the seven of swords about them putting a plan in place, thinking about what plans they need to to take what plans they need to make to put this connection with you to the next level or bring it back around. Now, for those of you who are in separation from your person, the Eight of Wands is a card of communication. It's a card of two-way communication between two people. So there is a strong chance here that you can be getting communication from your person if you haven't heard from them in a while for no contact situations, but it's also a card of movement. So if things have been stuck, if things have been not moving between the two of you, or the relationship has reached a place of stagnation, or you're at a crossroads with one another, the Eight of Wands does tell us that things are going to start moving, and they're going to start moving a little bit quicker, which is interesting because we do have temperance here. Now, temperance is... Well, it's about having to temper things. So it's about having to have patience, but we're going to come back to that in a moment. Okay. Temperance is about the blending of two souls. Temperance is about alchemy, but in spiritual context, it's the blending of your soul and the soul of your person. Okay. So your person is definitely aware that there is a strong connection here between you. They think about this connection. They think about where this connection can go. They think about where the connection is going, which is why they're trying to formulate some sort of long range, long goal plan here. Okay. But temperance is about a spiritual connection. It's about a connection that is physical or passionate. It's a connection that is intellectual, mental. It's a connection that is emotional and it's a connection that is spiritual. The thing with temperance, it temperance is about tempered steel, and it takes a long time to make a sword, right? Tempered steel. They heat it up 500 times. Heat, bang, cool it off 500 times. So this card also tells us that the connection with you and your person, I do feel it's going to take some additional patience on your part for things to truly develop and unfold between the two of you to get to the place where it can move to the next level, to the next stage of your relationship. Now, although I said it could take a little bit of time because we do have temperance here, we do have the Eight of Wands, which is about quick movement, and we do have the Fool. Now, the Fool is ruled by the planet Uranus, okay? And that is the planet of unexpected things. That is the planet of things just shifting and changing. And when they shift and change, it'll be boom. They will shift and change. So I feel it's important for you to know, pile two people, that when this connection between you and your person shifts and changes, you may need to apply a little bit of temperance to it on your end so that it doesn't go too quick so that it doesn't move too fast. Because if it goes zoom, 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 it could go boom. So let things develop naturally and organically. And I do feel that this is what your person is thinking about as well. Now, your person is also thinking about how attracted they are to you. They are thinking about how you fulfill their desires in terms of a potential romantic candidate, potential romantic partner. They do believe that you have great chemistry with one another. They do believe that you have a great connection with one another. They do feel that the two of you have a lot of passion together as well. And I do feel for those of you who are in no contact situations or if you're in separation from your person, they still have these thoughts. They still have these thoughts of the passion that is here between you. And 
I do feel that they allow themselves to take trips down memory lane and think those thoughts, etc. Right? Okay, so now we're going to get into the next part of the reading. Pile number pile number three. Let's get into the next part of the reading and see what your person's feelings are. How are they feeling? What are their honest feelings for pile number three? What are pile three's person's honest feelings for them right now? This is the nine of cups. What else for pile three? What are their person's honest feelings for them right now? The king of wands. This is my Sean Connery card. That is so much like Sean Connery. That, that figure on that card. Let's see what else for pile three? What else for pile number three? This is the Six of Cups. There's those trips down memory lane. Thinking about that passion, taking trips down memory lane. What else for pile number three? What are their persons? What are they honest feeling? What are their honest feelings for them? And this is the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. Pile three people. Holy cow. Right. So I already said this earlier about your person taking trips down memory lane. This is also a card of reunion. Okay. Something from the past, someone from the past coming back around to create a fresh start, new beginning. So your person is thinking about this connection. They are thinking about this relationship and their feelings. There is this sense of love here with this two of cups. The two of cups is a union of hearts. Union of souls, union of hearts. And we do have, we talked about that with this temperance card about this deep spiritual connection that exists here between you and your person. And the king of wands as well validates that presenting as a very strong divine masculine energy in this reading for you. Now, just take what resonates and let the rest go. It could be divine feminine based on what your situation is. Okay. Now this nine of cups is the wish card, but it is about their feelings. This is the second row is about their feelings. The nine of cups, these nine cups are filled with love. It is a fullness of emotion. The nine of cups is one of the best cards in the deck, right? And so this is saying, make your wish, pile three people, throw that wish out to the universe. The nine of cups has been showing up a lot in readings as well as the fool. I just find that, I just find that really fascinating and really interesting. And I know that we're coming into some sort of new shift, new paradigm here as we move into 2024. And maybe that's what that fool is all about. That all of a sudden thing shifting and changing. The energy between couples shifting and changing for the better. Spiritual growth, spiritual awareness, spiritual awakening happening now. This king of wands, this is the fire sign. So Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. The king of wands is someone who is going to take action. There's a deep passion here. Your person does feel this passionate connection to you. I'm trying to be careful what I say. Uh, yeah, they do feel this very strong, passionate connection to you, right? But this is someone who is going to take action. When they have made this decision about which direction they're going to take this relationship, remember, we're putting a plan in place. They're going to move in group, and they will move quickly once they have put that plan in place. Remember, though, I said... If things move and groove too fast, because we've got Uranus energy here, the Eight of Wands, which is about movement. Now this King of Wands, this is not someone who's going to sit around. This is someone who is going to take action. They will go. Once this person figures out what they're going to do with this connection, what they're going to do with this relationship, they're going to move and groove. And they will come at you like a bolt of lightning. And they will come at you with a lot of energy. This is someone who will pursue you. This is someone who will put forth energy and effort. This is someone who will fight for this connection and fight for the love the two of you share. Okay. Remember, we have a fullness of emotion here with this nine of cups, right? And we have a union of souls and a union of hearts here with this two of cups. So their feelings, your person's feelings for you are, are very deep. They're very strong pile three people, okay? Regardless of the current dynamic between the two of you at the moment. So let's move on to the next part of the reading. 
for pile number three, what are their persons? How does that person honestly think and feel about them? Well, this is attraction. Super moon attraction. Well, they are definitely attracted to you. We talked about that. They do find you so attractive. And it's not just about the external qualities, the external characteristics. They do find that you're very beautiful, very attractive, very alluring, very handsome. As the case may be, please take what resonates and let the rest go. Um, there is a deep attraction. And it's not just about, like I said, what was external. It is about the inner essence of who you are. And that comes back to this temperance card. Okay. Talking about the chemistry, this connection, this alchemy that's here. Okay. There's something about you internally that they are really attracted to as well. And that is the essence of your soul. Okay. It is a soul, deep soul level connection. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we get for pile number three. What does their person honestly think and feel for pile number three? New beginnings, daffodil fairy. Daffodil is my favorite flower. New beginnings, new beginnings. So for those of you who are apart, for those of you who are in separation, we talked about this with the fool. New beginnings, fresh starts. The opportunity to come into reunion. The opportunity to reunite with one another if you're apart. But also... For those of you who are dating or in a relationship with the person that you're asking about today, this is also about taking the relationship to the next step. Your person wants to take the relationship further. Remember, they're thinking about what sort of plan they're going to put in place, about where they're taking this connection and taking this relationship, and then they will act on that plan with that king of wands being there. So let's see what else for pile number three. What else for pile number three? What does, how does their person honestly think and feel about pile number three people? This says horseman, herald of change. Change is happening. And we talked about that with the fool, the fool change. Swift and sudden change out of nowhere, and then someone acting on those changes and taking this connection and taking this relationship to the place that the people upstairs, your angels and guides, that the universe wanted to go, okay? Your person does think you have a very strong connection. They do think that you are attractive inside, outside. Your, they think that you have a great chemistry with one another. There's deep feelings of love here with this nine of cups and this six of cups and this two of cups. They are thinking and feeling that the two of you would make a good long-term partnership. They can see that in this. They can feel it in this connection between the two of you. Let's see, what else do we get for pile number three? How is their person honestly thinking and feeling about them right now? Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. That can be part of this temperance card. It can also be part of this fool card because that's someone at the beginning of their spiritual journey, but definitely with this king of wands as well. That is someone who is going through spiritual transformation. And perhaps you are going through spiritual transformation, pile three people with these kind of connections. There's really no choice but to go through spiritual transformation, spiritual awakening, spiritual growth. And perhaps that is what this herald of change is about as well. You have to grow and you have to evolve in order to be able to maintain and sustain this kind of spiritual energy that exists between you and your person. What else for pile number three? How does their person honestly think and feel about them? True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional, and we have already discussed that in this relationship. So your person does feel, and they do think, that this is true love that's here between you. What else for pile number three? What else for pile three? What does their person honestly think and feel about them right now? This says wedding. The situation involves marriage. And it very well could because we have this two of cups here and this nine of cups, if that is your wish pile, three people. But not everybody wants to get married. Not everybody wants to go through all of that. Some people just want a 
long-term partnership, long-term commitment. So take this card as it resonates with you and your situation, okay? What else for pile three? What else for pile three? What does that person honestly think and feel about them right now? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And that is very much the energy of this king of wands. Now, this is not a message for you, pile three people. I don't feel that you should express your love unless you are together now, unless you're dating or in a relationship with your person. If you're in separation, if you are apart from your person, if you're in no contact situations, I don't feel that right now is the time to express your love. This is very much about the energy of your person expressing their love for you as this king of wands. Remember, the king of wands is someone who's going to take action. There is true love here. I do feel your person is also going through an awakening. And they need to awaken to be able to hold the energy that is in this connection. They are so attracted to you. We have the two of cups, the nine of cups. This is about love. There's so much love here. They do think that you make, with this Nine of Cups being here, the ideal romantic partner for them. And for those of you in separation or for those of you in no contact situations, they just have to finish going through this spiritual transformation. And we have this herald of change here. Change is happening. And expect the unexpected. Ex expect the unexpected. Things are shifting and changing. There's great chemistry, but you will have to be a little bit more patient until these things start changing. But when they start changing, they're going to move and they will start moving quickly. So hold on for the ride, pile three people. I do feel many of you are going to have see changes in your connection and changes in your relationship with your person, positive ones. This is your reading for today, pile number three. Thank you so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like to look at your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the first comment. Also, we would like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so, so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone.